All right then, hello guys. Today we're doing another Pico CTF challenge, and the challenge we're gonna be doing today is gonna be called Quantum Sc Scrambler. So with this challenge, it gives us a downloadable file. It says we invented a new cipher that uses quantum entanglement to encode the flag. Do you have what it takes to decode it? Connect to the program with Netcat and download the source code. So we get three hints. So the three hints are: run eval on the cipher to interpret it as a Python object, print out the outer list one object per line, and three feed in known plain text through a scrambler. So if we go right here and we and if we I guess connect to it right away, we see that uh, copy paste it uh, yeah, dollar sign take that out right there. It prints out a bunch of stuff right here. So what's printing out is just like a bunch of like hex. So what do you want to do with this? So what if we just grab this? And put this in the hex converter and see what pops out or what props open. So we'll go hex cyber chef. We go on cyber chef and then we just paste it right here. And then we'll just do from hex. And we get a bunch of Pico CTF, Pico CTF, Pico CTF, Pico CTF, Pico CTF, Pico CTF. And we see a bunch of like words and letters in between each one. Meaning that our it's scrambled up inside. So what can we do? What can we figure it out? So while doing this challenge, I began to testing. I downloaded the, the object itself, LS, and then I ran it on my own. So this is the what we downloaded, Quantum Scrambler. And I made a test flag, cat flag dot flag dot txt. Now I ran it right here, Python three, uh, quantum scrambler. We get something similar, but on a much shorter case. So if we grab this right here, oh, and then we go right here, and just make it more simple. We get pico ctf, pico ctf, pico ctf, and then we see the our answers are all spread out. But if we see right here pico ctf is the very first one it's a list within list so we start noticing ox7 what is ox7 then so we just copy that and put that at the end it's basically p ox7 is p so we'll just copy this pico and what's os69 that's basically I. So what I started thinking was that maybe within the range of the cipher, it was basically using the very first thing within the array and the very last thing within the array. So what I was doing is I was probably grabbing stuff from this to this to this. So what we can see right here is a small little pattern. So we grab this. This is the first part. This is the last one. This is the first part. This is the last one. This is the first part. This is the last, so first and then last, which is already have right here, first and then last right here. So if it's simply just grabbing the very, you have to go within the list, grab the first one and last one, and then keep doing that within iteratively and start building out Pico CTF. How we did right, you know how I was able to build out Pico CTF right here? It's basically building it out. So what we could do is basically write a short Python script and we could use it testing this out. So we're just gonna nano solve.txt. And then we'll do something like our cipher text is equal to whatever we have right here. And then for every X in range of the length of cipher, which is how many items are in the list, we're basically gonna do a print where we're at. So it's gonna be uh, X, wait, cipher. Cipher. We're gonna go I. 
for where we're at currently and then the last object and then we'll go pick the last the first object then we'll pick the last object which could be represented with a negative one and then from there we just do something like this and this should print it out print it out but it might print it out all weird we might need to escape it at the end so As you see right here, and then we just grab this right here. We just grab that. Because ETF test, so see, like I was able to get it. So now, if we try this, but now if we just change this with, we want it to end with no space. So, and equals. ctf test now we could just copy this logic nano solve dot txt uh let's go and and just delete all of this and we just copy our huge giant cipher that we have that that we have on our uh oh god that's actually a lot <laughs> This should be closer. All right, then we just need to copy our giant cipher that we get from connecting to the netcat port. We just copy this. Copy. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't break our script. And Python. Oh. Here. Just copy this. Put it right here. Pico CTF is weird. Six one. Now control C and then we just put that at the end and we should get the flag. Oh, we're missing part of it. Ah, uh, Python. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Copy. Python is weird. And we solved this challenge. So, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys learned something new today. I, I know I did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.